Zephyr was a tire shop mechanic, his hands perpetually stained with grease and calloused from years of wrenching. His small shop, tucked away in a forgotten corner of the city, was a haven for worn-out tires and broken dreams. Every morning, Zephyr would open the creaky metal door, the bell above jingling weakly as if echoing his own exhaustion. Zephyr's life was a relentless cycle of lug nuts and punctured tubes. He patched up tires with care, each one representing a chance for someone to keep moving forward. But as he worked, he couldn't help but notice the world passing him by. His wife, Farida, stitched clothes at home to supplement their income. Their two children, Ali and Aisha, wore hand-me-downs and shared a single pair of shoes. The tire shop barely scraped enough profit to pay the rent and put food on the table. Zephyr dreamed of expanding, of hiring an assistant, maybe even buying a hydraulic lift. But dreams were luxuries he couldn't afford. One sweltering afternoon, a well-dressed man stepped into the shop. His shiny shoes contrasted sharply with the worn-out rubber around him. He introduced himself as Mr. Khan, the owner of a large tire dealership. I need a reliable mechanic, Mr. Khan said, eyeing Zephyr's grease-streaked face. Someone who can handle volume. Are you interested? Zephyr's heart raced. This was his chance, a lifeline out of poverty. But he hesitated. His little shop held memories, the laughter of customers, the smell of rubber, the warmth of Farida's chai. Could he leave it all behind? I'll take the job, Zephyr said, surprising even himself. But I have a condition. I want to keep the shop open for repairs, maybe hire an apprentice. Mr. Khan raised an eyebrow, but agreed. Zephyr's hand shook as he signed the contract. The next day, he donned a clean shirt and stepped into the gleaming dealership. The air smelled of new tires and success. Days turned into weeks, and Zephyr worked tirelessly. He fixed high-end cars, negotiated deals, and earned a steady salary. But the shop remained empty, its metal door rusting in neglect. One evening, as he polished a set of alloy wheels, Zephyr received a call. Farida's voice trembled. Zephyr, Ollie, is sick. We can't afford the doctor. His heart shattered. He rushed to the old shop, the bell jingling louder than ever. Ollie lay on a makeshift bed, feverish and weak. Zephyr held his son's hand, tears blurring his vision. He made a choice, the shop or his family. The next morning, he handed in his resignation. Mr. Khan scowled, but Zephyr didn't care. He returned to the tire shop, Ali's medicine in hand. But the bills piled up, and the shop barely survived. Zephyr patched tires, his hands shaking more than ever. Ali recovered, but the debt remained. And so, he continued, grease-stained, tire-worn, but never defeated. Zephyr, the tire shop mechanic, found richness in the patched tubes and the laughter of his children. His shop might never expand, but his heart had grown immeasurably.